Now, from tomorrow, hikers looking to scale Jeju's highest and most famous mountain, Halasan, will need to make a reservation ahead of time. Also, starting in February, the number of hikers allowed to climb to the peak will be limited to 1,500 a day in order to preserve the natural environment and ensure hikers' safety. Park Seyang has this report. Sangparak Trail is one of the two trails that you can follow to the top of Halasa Mountain. The route takes about four to five hours to complete and is popular among hikers. Starting in February, only a limited number of hikers will be permitted on the summit. The number of reservations per day will be limited to 1,000 for Sangparak Trail and 500 for Kwanimsa Trail. The trails that do not lead to the summit can still be visited without reservations. Halasan Mountain has an average 2,500 visitors a day and 900,000 a year. This is to provide environmental protection, safe hiking, and pleasant conditions for exploration. The reservation system has received mixed reactions. They say it is for safety, but I don't know if it is the only answer or if it is practical. I personally think it's a good system. We can protect the beauty of nature and not damage it. The reservation system will go through a test operation until the end of the year. Weekend reservations for the two summit courses are already mostly filled. Park Se-young, Arirang News.